G'day, it's John Willis from Club Marine TV and I'm in Port Phillip Bay on an absolute ripper day. Light breeze blowing, blue skies, couldn't be better. I've tested a lot of Genoa boats in the past, but you know what? The one I'm in at the moment, which is an 895 Marlin, I think it takes the cake. What do you reckon? Come and I'll show you around. The rear deck layout is so functional, it's unbelievable. They've done great stuff here. You've got to walk around on the port side as well, but it is a bit narrower than the starboard, that's fine. There's a pull-out awning for a bit of shade when you need it. I love these pull-out seats, look at these. How easy is that? And there's three of them, one on each side and one at the back as well. Just makes it so convenient and so easily transformed from a fishing boat to a cruising boat or an entertainer. This actually all pulls forward here as well. By pulling all this module forward, it means the engines can be tilted at rest, which is great for trailering, but more importantly, getting those engines up out of the water while it's on a mooring, you're not gonna get the corrosion problems. Out here, this is a great little work surface with bins as well for all your fishing knickknacks, knives, gear, all the rest of it, rod holders, and a good pair of boarding platforms out back. So you can do all those water sports, have fun with all the power of those 200 horsepower Mercury outboards. It's not called an 895 Marlin for nothing. This boat could easily catch a Marlin. It transforms into a good little sports fishing boat so quickly. Remove the table if you want a bit more deck space. You could actually transform that with a leaning post if you wanted to with extra rod holders. You've got padded combings all the way around for locking your knees into, so you're not gonna get bruised at the end of the day fighting that big fish. When it's time for that fish to come aboard or to clean off, we've got a salt water wash down for cleaning down all the essentials here, but there's also fresh water shower for when you come out of the water and wanna freshen up. Underfloor, there's a ton of storage, and speaking of floors, have a look at this teak line deck. Just looks great, very practical as well and for maximised safety, it's actually a self-draining deck as well. This is a really versatile package. It's a package that's going to appeal to a fisherman, cruiser, diver, anything to do with water sports. It's just an absolute beauty. But this terrific layout as well, like it's a lovely place to relax out in this bow rider section, but it might be a good place to cast a lure as well. When you're going into the beach, fold down the ladder climb out the front, why not? Nice and easy. I can just imagine myself chasing a rampaging pelagic off the bow here, it'd be great. Up on top, there's plenty of space, but even a pair of roof racks for all your water toys. How about this ripper walkway? It's nice and deep for the size of the boat and really safe, got plenty of grab holds and plenty of room, even for big blokes like me. When it comes time to moor, look at that, side door access makes it really easy. And speaking of side door access, check this out. How easy is it when you've got side access direct into the helm? And in we go. Have a look at this. This is a beautiful little layout. It's such a functional little boat. It's just terrific. You've got this drop down dinette here, which works in a number of different ways. And you know what? I think Genoa have actually been working on this and perfected it finally. Check this out. This can be a drop down bed as well for an extra berth. If you push this in, and pull that back, all of a sudden, you've got your forward facing passenger seat as well, which is what people want when you're on the move, no doubt about it. It also leaves this lovely little tray area at the back for the rest of your crew. It's a really good little cabin with plenty of headroom as well, but there's a lot of little knickknacks and storage, which is what you really need. Look at this convenient little unit. We've got a drawer up top, instant access to your switch panel, more storage cupboards down here, and I know a few people who are gonna love this, the wine rack. And for when it's time to chill your wine, don't forget, you've got this ripple little compressor fridge under the helm seat as well. The 895 Marlins, basically a day boat, but I could overnight, I could stay here a week actually. Lift this up, put a little portable stove in under there, that's what it's there for, and you've got a sink with hot and cold water. Come on round, and it's a really functional helm. Everything's right where it should be, in your face. We've got Ray Marine, Axiom, multifunction unit up the top here as well. Great vision all the way around. 
and it's really comfortable to drive too. Your uh, dual binnacles are really well at hand. All your instruments are easy to see. We've got zip weight trim tabs on this one to assist your ride. We've got a Lumar anchor winch. We've got bow thruster to make it easy for mooring. And what more do you need? We've got some communications with a VHF radio and don't forget the Fusion sound system. This is actually really nice size little V-berth up in the bow here. We've got a slide out base here with a couple of plug-in cushions that makes it a complete double bed. Very cozy. There's actually a, a hatch up above here as well and a wardrobe. You can take the kids or the friends away as well because under here we've got a transverse bunk which is a double bed size. Opposite the entrance to the transverse bunk, you've got this cute little bathroom. I say cute little bathroom, it is quite small, but how much room do you really need? It's got the vanity, it's got the toilet, and it's got a shower. If it comes a time, you just gotta go and have some fun. Check this out, down with the throttles. You know what, for a big boat, she actually gets up and gets moving pretty quickly. So prop quite well, there's not much cavitation at all back there. Overhead, we've got plenty of ventilation if we want it. And we can open the side door too if you want a little bit more, and the back door for that matter. We're cruising beautifully at the moment at 28 knots at 4,500 RPM. And we're actually using about 45 litres per hour of fuel either side, which is actually pretty economical at that speed. If we back down a little bit to a more economical cruising speed, we're down to 30 litres an hour, doing 25 knots. Wide open throttle, here we come. We'll trim her up a little bit. Notice how even it is. There's very little bow rise on takeoff. And once we're moving, those zip wake trim tabs are just keeping us nice and sturdy, even through turns. Here we go, we're up there. We're up to about 37 knots at uh, 5,700 RPM. And if I check the fuel consumption, that's about 65 litres per hour per side, which is really very good. And notice, there's not a lot of thumping here. Yeah, okay, it's just a little bit of chop, but it's not too bad at all, I can tell you, for the speed that we're moving at. It's all so easy. So when it's time to put it back on the mooring and head for home, you've got the manoeuvrability of twin outboards. The other thing that we've got to add to that is a bow thruster. So you can swing it around with absolute precision, get it into that mooring nice and safely so anybody can drive it. Price from around $260,000 plus options. I think it's actually very good value. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.